，才是真正的赢家。Yeah. Good morning, Singapore. How are you feeling today? Some are fantastic, some are not. Why? Haven't eaten your dinner yet, right? <laughs> okay, just before I start the sharing for tonight, just want to have show of hands. Do we have any new friends that never see me before in a life? Let me see. Wow. This must be all the new friends that join us for the last two years, right? Yeah, for for the rest of you, at least you will see me once before, right? <laughs> Especially for those of you who attended our KL Millionaire Summit. How many of you actually attended our KL Millionaire Summit? Only so few. I thought that we have quite a lot of people actually came from Colorado. Yeah, I saw we have a huge group over there, right? Well, I think we had a very successful. Millionaire Summit in in Kuala Lumpur, right? It was a sold out event, but today when I come to Singapore, attending this event, wow! I was just looking at this hall. It was so huge, right? Yes or no? I don't know about you. I'm really excited about this uh, event. This is our first ever live event after two years, three months. Aren't you excited? Must be very excited, right? I don't know how many live events you have attended, right? The physical event. I think the company, the country just opened up uh, probably early of May. I decided to start to travel around. I was in KL, Kuala Lumpur last week for a session, and today I came back uh, to share with all our Singapore friends here. But I know that uh, not only that we have uh, Singapore friends over here, we have a lot of uh, just I just realized we have friends from Malaysia, Indonesia, Vietnam. And some of the people actually coming from Australia and Australia and New Zealand. Can we can we give all these friends a warm round of applause? Yes, it's been a long two years, three months. I don't know how you survive, right? But I think that first of all, congratulations for every one of you, right? Why? Because I think, right, every one of us survive through the crisis, right? Through the COVID crisis. Yeah, I just want to. Oh, sorry. Let me see that. Yeah, I have a slide over here. Congratulations. Yeah, we survived. We are alive. Hey, you are not excited that you are alive. You know how many people have passed on over the last two years, right? We are so lucky to be alive, right? It's a great celebration, isn't it? Right. Give yourself a warm round of applause because we survived, right? Congratulations, every one of us. Finally, I don't know about you. It's been really a tough two, uh, two, uh, about two years plus, right? And this COVID crisis has created a lot of problems, uh, you know, for every one of us. I think that uh, I don't know about you. For every of the crises or every of the adversities that happened to my life, right? I want to, you know, to learn a lesson from it, right? So this uh, today, right? Uh, I think that it's a good time for us to conclude. Even though that um, we we you know that the COVID is not totally over yet, but I think it's a good it's a we can do a, a summary or conclusion over here, right? What did we actually learn from this COVID crisis? So there are some of lessons that I learned through the COVID crisis because uh, this was the second time that I, I experienced this pandemic. Uh, today, I'm, this year already 50 years old, huh? so I'm not that young anymore. <clears throat> So, in 2003, for those of you who are born earlier than 2003, we have we have SARS outbreak, right? Remember that in 03, right? I still remember that at the point of time I already started doing new skin. Yeah, we survived and we learned some lesson from it. So, almost like 20 years later, we have this uh, COVID crisis, right? I hope that uh, you know we can learn from each crisis, right? So that we don't become a victim for the next time. So what are the lessons I learned from this COVID crisis? I think basically, 
there are some of the things I, I learned, right? Uh, first thing, I think the most important thing is about importance of health. How many of you think that health is very important? Can you put your hands? Some of you think that it's not important. Huh? Definitely it's very important, right? Because uh, I think this COVID has taken a lot of lives away from us. So we begin to realize that, you know, no matter how hard we work, right? For most of us, we realize that we're trying to make a lot of money through a lot of opportunities. But unfortunately, we did not take care of our health. So we realized that through this COVID crisis, health is extremely important for every one of us, right? We need to take care of our health. I think the second thing is I realized that, uh, you know, especially for my friends, they are building a traditional business, conventional business, right? I realized that, um, you know, the importance of low-risk business model because there are a lot of conventional business got disrupted, right, through this COVID crisis. Many of them, some of them go bankrupt, right? The companies closed down. So that was pretty common for the last two years especially those businesses that involve, uh, you know, high investment. So a lot of business, you know, close down. So the, sec the third thing is that I learned the importance of passive income. I don't know about you, right? There are actually some group of people that are not really financially affected during this COVID crisis, right? Some are affected because that probably they lose their job, right? And they do not have the ability to have um, a passive income. That means that without working, right, they do not have income. So through this crisis, we begin to realize that, right, as long as you live long enough, we may, right, have some emergency or some crisis. So, you know, importance of passive income. I don't know whether you have passive income or you have started building passive income. I think thankfully for many of our builders, right, who actually started early on, right, they were not very much affected through this crisis. In fact, I noticed that some of the leaders, right, some of the builders, in fact, you know, they grew their business during the pandemic. Right, so the last one, I think the importance of happiness and well-being, right? In fact, you realize that we take happiness for granted. I don't know about you, right? Especially our loved ones, right? We don't really treasure that much until this COVID crisis. Sometimes there was a certain period of time, you realize that we can't even, not only about traveling, huh? we can't even meet, we can't even get out of the house, even though that your parents, your parents or relative, we just think opposite you, right, across the street, but we cannot get to see them. So I think that uh, through this pandemic, I begin to realize that happiness is very important and we should not take for granted. You agree? Right? Like today, right, we have a lot of our loved ones. Today, we started to be able to meet up. So we really treasure this kind of time, right? So, in fact, you know, this pandemic has made us realize these four important things, at least for myself. I don't know about you, right? But I just want to share with every of our uh, friends over here and hope that in the future, right, in the future, should touch you lah, if this happened again, right, we will not become the victim. Right, we will become, I wouldn't say winner, but at least you realize that right, we will not become a victim out of the next crisis. And I want to start off this uh, tonight with my own story because uh, even though my story is not very exciting, but I think I can share some of my stories that uh, some of my mindset, right, my what do you call it, uh, the certain decision uh, making process that I used to when I first started this journey, which I think is very important, right, even though I'm only 50 years old but I think I have long history, <laughs> right? Especially in this platform, right? In fact, I was born in Malaysia, right? I was born in Malaysia. This is my dad. This is way back uh, in one of the fishing village, one of the kampong in Malaysia. So I came to Singapore to, my, to further my studies. I graduated in the National University of Singapore. It used to be major in economics. And in fact, straight after graduate from school, right? I went into insurance. I think it was introduced in the the introduction video. So I was there for almost like five years. So that was my first career, my, my first profession. So some, some people may be very curious to find out, right, why is it that I chose insurance career? For most of the people, you realize that if you graduate from school, right, chances are you'll start to look for a job. Yes or no? Right, I think most of us, almost 90% of us, right, will be so hurry to look for a job. In fact, in my life, right, I never applied for a single job before. I think one of the reasons why <laughs> like, I think that, uh, you know, I, I chose insurance because I was just too lazy to apply for a job, right? Uh, honestly, it's true, right? And I also scared of rejection. You know, some people say, that, how can you be scared of rejections? You're choosing insurance career and you're doing new skin, right? In fact, I don't know about you, right? Insurance job or insurance business is easy for every one of us to join. You can apply very easily, right? But if you apply for a job, sometimes you get a lot of rejections. You can't even get an interview. 
right? And most of us, 90% of the employees, I do not know about you, right? We've been sending a lot of resume, sending a lot of employment letters, right? And we can't even get an interview. So I do not want to go through the kind of process being rejected. It's like I chose insurance, <laughs> right? Well, I think um, the industry has grown today. Those days, it's becoming very easy to join insurance career. But now I realize that the exam is getting tougher. I think one of the key reasons right, that I chose insurance career when I graduated from school is because I do not want to work for people. You know, I want to build my own business. Right? reason why I chose insurance is because it's no risk. Right? It's zero risk, zero business risk. Right? My manager used to tell me that right, this, this platform or this opportunity, right, the income, sky is the limit. But he forgot to tell me that time is limited. Does it make a difference if time is limited because you only have a number of hours you can work, right? So I was there for almost like five years. I'm very thankful for, that, for this platform right, to train me to learn a lot of things. Right? But I realized after five years, right, I realized that there's a lot of limitation from this platform. Uh, being a Malaysian, right, I, I, I do not know whether I'll be staying in Singapore permanently. Right? About 30 years ago, I do not know. Right? So when I was in uh, insurance career, I cannot build a team in, uh, in Malaysia. Even though I'm a Malaysian, I cannot go back to Malaysia to build uh, my insurance team. Right? Partly because that insurance platform right, is not global, it's not borderless. So it determines my opportunity from build, expanding my business. Not because I'm not capable. Right? I probably have acquired the skills, selling skills and organization skills, but too bad because the platform has got limitation that they don't allow me to actually expand outwards beyond Singapore. In those years, right, almost like uh, 30 years ago, yeah, less than that, it's almost like 25, 26 years ago, right, Singapore only has got 2.5 million population, about 3 million population. Today, we have about 5 million population, right, and saw that if I cannot expand my business outside beyond of Singapore, how big can I do? So there's a problem of scalability, right, 2.5 to 3 million. So if I'm the top of the whole country, I probably can service about 2.5 and 3, 3 million population. It's just too small out of the 6 billion population in the whole world. So I saw the limitation, right? I'm a person very much motivated, not just by money. I'm a person that's very much motivated by the vision. Meaning that, right, if I cannot see the long-term future, long-term vision, right, I will stop. I will not have the motivation to carry on. So I become becoming doubtful about my future, right? Where will I be for the next 5, 10, and 20 years down the road if I continue this platform? So that will, that's a point of time that I do a lot of soul searching. I believe, that, I believe that many of the audience today, right, there are certain points of your life whereby you do a lot of soul searching on what do you actually want from your life. So that point of time, I was 26, 27 years old. I was looking around. I went for a lot of personal development courses, right, almost like the year I spent a lot of money, right, trying to search for my life direction, in the field, for life direction. So during that period of searching, right, there's one author, famous author, I think many of you probably have read, read this book before, Right, Robert Kiyosaki. Right, he wrote this book called Rich Dad Poor Dad. How many actually read this book before, Rich Dad Poor Dad? Well, quite many, right? Yeah, so I read this book way back in 1998. So you know how old I am, right? <laughs> so I began to get exposed about this concept about ESBI, right? Being an employment quadrant, self-employed, business owner, investor, right? What kind of money they're actually making. So it's kind of like changing my paradigm, right? Actually, there's a different way of making money. Right. So in fact, many of the books, subsequent books that he wrote, right, Cash Flow Quadrant, Business School, right, he did mention about you know, building, becoming a build your own business, becoming a business owner. And of the three systems he mentioned about network marketing. So I was curious, right, coming from established um, uh, business people, that mentioned about network marketing is a very important, or I would say that uh, a good business model, I was curious. So I decided to find out more. So that's where I began to study and understand more a little bit about network marketing. Then I was asking myself, right, if I'm going to choose the next career or the, 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 the next direction, right, then what are the positioning that I want to have? I think probably some of the things that are very different compared to a lot of people, they're probably, they, you know, they are in a rush to look for another job to make money. Well, I was, not, I was never in a rush to, to, to look for a job to make money, but rather I was asking myself, what do I want? Right, and that point of time, I was only 27 years old. Right, I was asking myself, what do I want? Right, if I'm willing to work hard, you know, that what kind of money I want to make? 
So I asked myself, right, I wrote it down. In fact, you know, I was, I was writing down that the things that I want. I want to find a platform whereby it provides me with a long-term, stable, right, and continue high income. So I hope to be able to find a career that outlives me. So I want to give you a new concept over here. Instead of looking for a job or opportunity, right, the things you are doing right now, right, is there any possibility, your career or your job, your opportunity, that potentially can outlive you? Think about this, right? We were just thinking that uh, probably we study certain profession, right? We think that, you know, I'm a professional accountant, but we never thought that, right, the things that we do, can they outlive us? Outlive means that you realize that if you're not around, right, they're still around, right? And we're able to provide you money. So I came up with this chart, right, for myself. For those of you who attended our STU program, uh, the BSE, right, Business School for Entrepreneurs, <clears throat> probably that you've seen this graph before. In fact, this graph was my own you know, summary of what I want to do. Right? So today, Evil Line said, I think System had adopted this graph to share with many of the friends. Right? In fact, I was just asking myself if I choose different path at the age of 27, right? given 20 or 30 years down the road, where will I be? So I wrote it down, right? choice def de decides destiny. Right? So I was asking myself, I can't be just going back to a job again. Right? So looking at most of the people who are employed, Right? By the time they retire, income goes back to zero. So this is not what I want. Right? No matter how capable you are, no matter how high income you are, right? by the time you're asked to go, you're retired, your income goes back to zero. But 90% of people choose to be employment. They don't even realize that what is the end outcome they will, they will be. Right? They will just rush into getting a job just to solve the problems, the temporary problems. But they didn't realize, and especially for this COVID crisis, many of people actually get out of job. They got retrenched. So if you are lucky, if you can stick on a job for 40 years, that means that after you graduate from school, until you retire, like 40 old years, you are lucky. Right? Why? Because the company is still around. Huh? Hardly you can find a company can be around for 40 and 50 years. Right? So in fact, you know, this is a, a most of the people's path that they choose. The second group of people, right, which I chose in the past, right, insurance agent or financial planner, I was self-employed. There are many self-employed, are skilled, High-income, self-employed people like insurance agent, property agent, real estate agents, right? Doctors, medical doctors, lawyer, right? And all these are highly skilled and uh, self-employed. Actually, they make a lot of money, but they didn't realize that once they stop working, their income stop. So it's pretty scary for those people who are highly skilled. They make a lot of money. They have high commitment, and one day they realize that they have no ability to perform, right? Their roles, and that's where you realize that you know. There's a, a, lot of, a lot of issues. So I begin to ask myself, right, that uh, being a self-employed, you know, how long can I work? If one day should anything happen to me, my income has stopped. So matter, no matter how outstanding you are. The third group of people, right, which is conventional business people, a traditional business, right, if you're doing for, if you catch a trend, probably that you can make some money, good money. But if you look into 30 to 40 years, if you hit any crisis, you're gone. Just like for the last two years. We have seen many people go bankrupt, the business gone, right? So we do not know. There are a lot of uncertainties. So I was asking myself, should I venture into conventional business whereby I'm going to bear so much risk, right? And going through for like 30 to 40 years, at the end of the day, I do not know what's going to happen. So I found network marketing very interesting, right? When uh, getting endorsement from many of the established uh, people, right? Robert Kiyosaki, right? Mentioned about exponential growth. Right, hardly we build any business if like we can experience the kind of exponential growth. Right, we probably will experience some linear growth, but not exponential growth. So I chose New Skin right, as my career then, because why? It's the same thing, there's no risk. So the rest is all history. Right? I just want to show you my growth path. So that was my growth path. When I made a decision to start way back in December 2000, right, I was very determined, even though that in those days, right, Singapore they just opened up direct selling, opened up the marketing industry. So before that, it was illegal, right? June 2000, before June 2000, this industry was illegal. Illegal means that you cannot practice. If you are a practitioner, we are considered illegal business activity. So after June to, uh, 2000, right, the government actually introduced this industry in Singapore. So I saw the opportunity, right? Even though coming from Singapore, I know that there's a lot of potential. So that was actually my growth path. If you look at uh, uh, this uh, for the, over the last 12, 12 years, 
I think what's the most important thing is that not just about the good side effect involving a new skin is you get younger. Yeah? So that was my, some of the photos that I took during my journey. Right? Especially if you look at this one photo that's before each lock. Right, before each lock. That was in 2009. <clears throat> right, 2009. We, in 2010, we started to introduce H log R square. Remember that? For those of you who are in business for a period of time. So I can see that the transformation is fantastic. I do not know what business you are doing today. Right? You could make a lot of money, but many times you realize that we may lose our health. Is it worth it? So a good side effect that I have I think, over the last 21 years is right, um, I gained some financial freedom through this platform. I think the most important thing is that I think right, I've become healthier and better looking, right? So I just celebrated my birthday last month, right? Uh, this year, I hit big 50, so I'm 50 years old. I think it's still not so, not so bad, right, as a 50 years old. So this was the photo taken, right? The, the one on the before one was uh, when I was uh, team elite in 2001. <clears throat> There was a, the company actually took a photo of me before that, right? Uh, this was uh, the other one. After one was last year, uh, during our SD convention, we did another photo, right? There's almost like uh, 20 years different. So I always look mature when I was young, <laughs> right? So for 2011, there was uh, uh, 2001, yeah, 2001, I was only like how old? 30 years old. Yeah, 29, 29 years old, <clears throat> right? But 50 years old, I think I look even younger. So, what is the side effect of doing new skin business? Become younger, healthier, more handsome, and prettier. So, of all the network marketing right, companies that we know, why we choose new skin? Right? I know that many of you get exposed to many companies, uh, especially for those of you from Malaysia. <clears throat> I was from Malaysia. Right? In fact, uh, Malaysia has been, uh, direct selling has been around for almost like 50 years. But you hardly see anyone that is doing network marketing business for 20 years. One company. You probably have friends that join network marketing, right? but every time they come and visit you or invite you, always come up with a new, another company offer. Meaning what? Meaning that they are not doing well in the last platform. Am I right? In fact, you realize that over here, right? We have so many people at the front row that this, this profession for 10 and 20 years, I personally myself, I did it for 21 years for the same company, <clears throat> right? So why do I have the vision 21 years ago? I want to share with you my story is because I think it's important uh, to make, uh, you know, for, for my, my, the, my vision. Right, that in those days, 21 years ago, why I chose New Skin? Because it's not easy. New Skin was actually a skincare company way back 21 years ago when I first started. So some of the key points that I actually consider this not just as a product user, right, but rather utilize it as a business decision. The first one is again, zero risk. See, I especially like business as zero risk. That means no risk. Right, the first one I chose was insurance career. The second one was New Skin. No risk. Because no risk means that there's no much downside, <clears throat> correct? Right? I think that the other one key important point is that global business. Because I know being based in Singapore, no matter what you do, the biggest is only 5 million people that you're servicing. No matter what you do, right? If you can conquer the, everyone, that's 5 million. So I was trying to look for a platform that allows me to travel to a lot of countries. So today, we are in more than 50 old countries. In fact, today, if you start joining the business, right, you can actually sponsor someone any part of the world. Immediately, you can start a global business. How interesting is this possible? Right, so this is exactly what happened. I think the, sec the, the, other, the other thing is about scalability and mobility. Many people don't understand about this thing when they chose a business. They just get excited about certain opportunity. They just jump into it, right? But I think that when I... When I look into this business on the, the, the company, right, I was asking myself, 
Can it scale? Scale means that can it grow like one time, two times, three times, ten times, right, twenty times bigger? If you're only doing it in Singapore, you can't possibly that grow like twenty times, a hundred times, whatever business is it. Right? So I was asking myself, can it scale without additional risk? <clears throat> Some business you can scale, but you need to incur higher risk. For example, right, if you own franchise or one shop, right? If you one shop, you realize you make money. You're trying to expand to another shop. So you go five shops. When you make five shops, you realize you still make money. But you start to expand to 20 shops, you lose money. This is pretty common, right, for a lot of conventional business. So as you scale, for a lot of business, you realize that you end up losing money. So losing money is not what we want to do as a businessman, right? But in this business, interestingly, as you scale, right, from your home, home country, in fact, you realize that you do not incur any business risk. The second one is mobility. Right? I can travel to any part of the world to build a business. This has become a very interesting feature for the modern people today, for the young generation today. Because young generation today, you realize that we do not want to be fixed in one location. Right? A lot of young people, millennials, right? you realize that they do not like it. Right? But for this business, you realize that you can, you can take it together with you, put it in your luggage bag, and just travel. For example, right, if one day you realize that you decided, even though you started in Singapore, one day you realize that you decided not to stay in Singapore because Singapore is getting more expensive. Right? I think just one week ago, HDB flat fetching for 1.4 million. Oh my God. Can you imagine a lot of young people today, they are starting out, right? How can they afford? In terms of cost of living is getting higher. Inflation is down today, you realize it's getting crazy. Right? But today, you realize that by building new skin business, if one day, five and ten years down the road, if you choose to migrate to any countries, or for, for myself, I moved back to Malaysia. My business is not affected at all. But there are a lot of business if you build in Singapore today. If you decided for any reason you need to move out of Singapore, you are forced to sell your business in Singapore. Right? So you don't have option. It's not flexible. But today, right, like Ellen and Pao Yen, yeah, they're going to mi migrate to Australia because of the children ed education. They can just bring along the new skin business to Australia and start continue building from that. They don't have to start from zero. So this is something that's so interesting, right? But I think that, um, you know, we are not offered in the other platform, right? Especially for young people today, I think this is a very good choice for you, for those of you who like flexibility, right? One day you realize that if you, one day you decided that you don't want to stay in Singapore anymore, right? It's too expensive and Singapore is so small. Today you realize as you're driving over here, it's getting very congested in Singapore. Do you agree? Right? And they want to grow from 5 million population to 10 million somewhere, you know? So if one day Singapore has got 10 million population, you know how crowded is it, right, in terms of quality of life. And if you want to move, right, if you choose different profession, probably you can't move at all. You got stuck. So mobility is so important, right? I think proven track record is something that excites me about New Skin. When I first started, New Skin was already 17 years old. So a lot of friends, a lot of my friends that they did network marketing business or direct selling, they told me that, Rain, why are you starting a company that's already 17 years old? It's no longer New Skin, it's Old Skin. Right? Because they are all very smart people. You know, they were telling me that, you know, you should join a company, you know, uh, you know, one year old company or just started new company, new setup. Then you got a lot of opportunities. But I look at all these friends, right? Until today, every year they are choosing new company. Right? They say ground floor opportunity, but they, ne they never take off always at ground floor. <laughs> right? So as we build the business from a ground floor opportunity in 1984, we keep on building higher and higher, higher, higher and higher. Right? So I never believe in them because I look at the quality of life that they have. So be very careful who talk to you. Right? Who you seek advice from. So when I look at all these people, right, no matter how good they are in persuasion, but I realize that how can you be involved in this industry for 10 years you did for 20 companies? Right? That means that you are not compounding your efforts at all. So proven track record, when I get to know about New Skin, right, they're already 17 years old, right, they're a lot of, uh, they, we are a public listed company in New York Stock Exchange, and uh, we have a lot, we're very transparent, we see a lot, we know, we know the, all the countries they expanded, right, they're doing very well, they're consistently top five companies in all the markets they expanded. So I was asking myself, right, can it, you know, if you come to Singapore, it cannot be that, that bad, right, you know, we are not that bad, right, so at the end, after 20 years today, right, we are the top network marketing companies in Singapore. This is what I mean by it's almost predictable opportunity. It's just that it hasn't happened yet 20 years ago. So you want to go into any opportunity, you realize it's almost the outcome can be predictable. 
you just need to work on the odds, right? Work on the property. That's how you realize that, you know, your, your future is almost guaranteed. So proven to me is very important. Just like if you want to uh, venture into a business, right? You want to look for a business partner. Do you look into this person's track record or not? Right? It's always cheating people, right? You know, you always open companies and close company. If you want to partner with him, you'll think twice. So I do not know about you. I think track record is more important than just an opportunity offering. Just telling them how good is this opportunity, right? I don't think that we get just attracted by opportunity. We must know that everything that you do is the people who makes it happen. It's not an opportunity, right? So the last one, high leverage and risk-free or low risk. You know, high leverage never come with low risk. We all know that high leverage comes with high risk. Am I right? Right, whatever investment you are in, right? You have an investment advisor, investment banker, they'll tell you that you want to you know, you want to get higher returns, right? You go for a high re leverage uh, uh, financial investment, right? They never, you never come across us as you realize a high leverage has got come with a low risk. This is probably the only financial instrument, right? The magic is here, right? That you realize there's so high a leverage where you can leverage on a network, but richly there's no risk. risk. The only risk being time. But anyway, whatever you do, you need to spend time too, right? So why is this possible? This is sound very interesting. Why is it possible? Because you actually transfer all the business risk to a third party. You know, to a third party. In those years when I first started, we do not know about this word called outsourcing. Right? I think um, over the last decade, we started to understand about outsourcing. So literally, right, by venturing new skin, by, by, by partnering with new skin, we are actually transfer all our conventional business risk to a reliable partner like new skin. To absorb all the conventional business risks. So on the first day you join New Skin, New Skin actually invested a lot of money into you with all the things that they are doing at the back, right? So that's why as a business person, entrepreneur, when you look at this, it's very interesting. You don't invest a lot of money. The only, probably that you only invest in the, on your own health, Get, getting a set of TNIT, trying to slim down yourself, right? Getting healthy. But you can't say that, hey, this morning, uh, I just invest in breakfast. Right? That afternoon, I just invested on my lunch. That was consumption, my friend, right? So you probably invest, in, you probably, I would say that you just say you want to try to gain health and getting know about products as a business builder, right? So you cannot say it's investment. But literally, if you look at what New Skin do, right? In fact, our head office in uh, Singapore, just around the corner, for those of you who haven't been uh, visiting our office, Orient Tower, you go and see the showcase, you pay zero cent but you can leverage on the showcase, not only in Singapore. So I would advise you, right, if you are doing new skin, every time you travel a country, you try to you try go to the showcase, right, because this is your co-sharing office, but you don't pay a single cent. Right, you can bring, you can go to the showcase, you can bring your customers over there, right, you know, you don't pay a single cent about rental, renovation. And we have account manager to help you also, you pay zero cent. So in fact, right, new skin absorb most of the business risk. You're out, it's outsourcing. Right, all you need to do is to, you only do two things, literally, to bring in profits. The first one is that, sharing the products that you use. Right, you probably realize that because you benefit from the product, your testimonials. The second thing you need to master is the marketing of opportunity. So that you realize that you can build your team, right, increase your business partners. So there are only two things you need to master, which is actually covered in our ST system. As long as you are staying long enough, you realize that you can master these two simple skills. Because there are many other things you need to consider if you're running your own conventional business, right? Well, the next one, right, I think I want to share a little bit over here, which is a market that is very interesting, right? Um, we do not know where this market is going to open, but definitely by the rate they are growing without birth control, they're going to be the biggest market in the whole world, right? As in, yes, last year, right, this country has got 1.4 billion population. So this is the market that is not open by new skin market yet. We are not open in this market yet. And uh, I saw some interesting figures. That's why that I just want to share every, every one of you over here. Being in Singapore, right, we're all well connected. We have a lot of foreigners over here. I think in Singapore itself, it's a very good market for you to build. Why? Because you have different countries' talent. Right, we have a lot of Chinese, we have a lot of Indian, we have a lot of uh, all kinds of Filipino, right? We have all kinds of people over here in Singapore. So literally, we are able to build a business, global business within Singapore itself. So what is so interesting about some of the numbers I gathered from India, not just about huge population, we all know about huge population, right? What is so interesting about this market was, 
There's one company that we are very familiar with, right? This company offering similar products to us in the marketplace, right? It's company H. They're doing same, similar weight management product, right? But we do it better <laughs> because we are the number one weight management program in Singapore and Malaysia, right? <clears throat> so this company, right, last two years, last two to three years, right, in fact, they did so well, we're the top network marketing company in India. At the same time, right, company H, India, is the second largest by volumes, right, in terms of country after United States. That means that company H, India volumes even, is even bigger than company H, China business. Isn't it an interesting insight, right? So when I see this number, I got a little bit excited. I do not know when this market is op going to open, right? It doesn't matter. Some people say, really, tell me like, when and when it's going to open, right? The key thing is that you get yourself prepared. If they open tomorrow, then how? You, don't have a, you also don't have network, right? So in fact, right, if this is, this is the market that we haven't opened yet, but there are huge op opportunity if you look into the lifetime, even if they're going to open for three and five years later or ten years later, it's still worth the waiting. Why? You can start building a network right now if you know it, right? So this is one of the very potential market person I feel, right? For those of you who are listening tonight, don't tell me that I never tell you, right? Many, many years later. I'm going to share with you a lot of, a lot of uh, stories later on that uh, why, what are the things that I shared with uh, of our leaders in the past and a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, things actually happened, a lot of dreams come true. Well, the second thing that excited me about New Skin was innovative product technology. So you can't simply join any network marketing platform by people telling you that their plan makes a lot of money. They draw a lot of circles, they tell you that you can make a lot of money, right? It doesn't make sense. Because the business was created by the product movement. If the people are not consuming the product, right? There's no movement of the product. There's no, no profits to be shared. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Right? Why many people fall prey to money games, pyramid scaling scheme? Because they were motivated, motivated by greed. They don't understand that actually where the money comes from. The money might be coming, coming from the products and the services you offer. You agree with me? Right? So I was not so naive to think that right, this one, these things can make a lot of money without genuine product offering. So over the last uh, 20 years right, that I started the business, way back uh, in, in year 2000, I, I, my partner with that said I got a lot of surprises <clears throat> because I didn't know. Like for example, the each lot product that we have today, right? I didn't know that actually it happened. Right? It happened. So innovative product technology allows us to build unlimited opportunities. Why are we able to do it? Right? We have a world-class scientific team and innovation centers, one in Shanghai, one in the US. We have the ability to create new products almost every year. Some companies, some network marketing companies, Right, for the same product, same technology, they have been selling for 10 years. You will lose the competitive, competitive, uh, competitiveness for the, for the customers because the customers will, will not buy from you anymore right, because they got a better product. Right? But I think that my advantage over here by partnering with New Skin over the years, not just about how lucrative is the plan, but I think the most important thing is that this product, innovative product technology helped me to create a lot of opportunities. So when I first started way back uh, 20, year, 20 years ago, well, I just want to try to bring back old memories for some of the old friends. Right? Can you remember this? I think most of you do not know what it is. <laughs> don't look into this small product. This helped me to make the first one million US dollars. <laughs> what is this product? So that's why I've, I've, it's, this is my first love. So you always remember your first love, right? First love, right? This is the product called Body Bar. Right? It's almost like 20 over dollars, sing dollars. It's about 10 PV. Right? 1,000 PV for TNIT, right? This is 10 PV. So you must be wondering, right? How can you make, use this 10 PV product to make 1 million US dollars? So this is the product that we introduced way back in 20 years ago. Uh, we don't have H-Lock then. We have only about 25 item products, 26 item products. So this is being one of the products. But at those point of time, 20 years ago, this is a cutting edge technology. Why? Because this body bar, you still can bring back, you still can buy from this skin showcase, right? We tested, it's the most suitable for our, our body because 
the, the Lemus paper test is pH 5.5. It's very good for our body. Right? But one body bar, you know how long you can use this? 6 months to 1 year. <laughs> Alama. <clears throat> so when you understand where we come from, right, you will respect us a lot. Because you belong to the era today, you build a business with TNIT with 1000 PV. Right? Dual, each lot dual for 1000 PV. It's so easy for you to move the product and the volumes is huge. The commission is big. We started from those products, this, this kind of product, but yet we are persistent to continue building a business. Why? Because we saw the vision of New Skin, right? We understand that this company have the ability to continue innovate themselves to create more opportunities. So today, you realize that right, all the things that happen today, right? Each lot products, I would say 20 years ago, we do not know. We are just lucky to partner with the right partner. They continue to innovate, right? So the next one I'm going to share, many of you are very familiar, right? Which is your actually. Um, you know, in this era, right, h -Lock, I think many of you know about h -Lock, right, our revolutionary uh, anti-aging technology. And in fact, they've been uh, featured many times a lot of, uh, in, on uh, famous media, right? One of them, of course, uh, Discovery Channel, two times. And uh, most important thing, right, over the last 10 over years, right, we created a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of new products that actually generate a lot of volumes. Today, we are 10 billion brand, meaning that this range of h -Lock platform Right, we have sold more than 10 billion revenue. <clears throat> so when I was joining New Skin before the H Lock, right, we were doing about 1. Point something billion. Like with H Lock, the increase by additional double the business to 2. Point something billion in 10 years time. Right, in 10 years time. So in 2009, right, for those of you who went to US convention in 2009, right, I want to bring back some old memories. Right, the point of time we don't know anything. We were just um, probably we just go confirmation. Mention we know about new product launching. So I think that the point of time we have this H lock transformation set. For those of you who seen this video before, people go crazy. They grab the product. We don't know what's happening, right? So some of us actually managed to grab some product from US, but most of us we don't get it. But at least we know that you know new skin started with a new era of H lock technology, which is an anti aging product series. I, we do not know what is it. So what happened is that after we came back from US convention, right, and we started to understand about this h -Lock platform, right, we did a review, we did a change of some strategy, right, in 2010, many of you actually may be there, right, in 2010, we did a very important session, just like what I did tonight, right, in fact, uh, we did one session in Johor Bahru, 2010, April 16th. Right, we did a H lock rally to kickstart the H lock movement. Can you imagine that 2009 they just started with the, the, the first version of SPA and the transformation set? We don't even know what's lying ahead. Right? So many products we don't know, we don't even know. But because we are so believed in the H lock technology's vision, right? We started this and we at that point of time I still remember that we have about three thousand people attended. Right, the rest is all history. And after which, uh, in 2010, we actually launched R Square, the LTO, and we create a world record volume stand. Then from R Square, if you look at all the products, right, from R Square, right, to TNID subsequently for U Span, H Lock Me, right, a new Troy, H Lock Boost, until the recent, the H Lock reset that we had, is all best selling product, right? <laughs> for those of the people who attended way back in 2010, how many actually attended in uh, the H-Lock rally in 2010? You see, it's all in front. Right? All the front row. Is it because they're smarter than you? Because someone invited them to that event. They saw the vision. They stick to the platform. They work hard, right? They change their life. Right? A couple of days ago, when I, uh, a couple of weeks ago, when I talked to Derek about this uh, event, he said, this is, that was, you know, Derek, one of our, our COE leaders, right? You know, he mentioned to me that that was his first big event that he attended in Johor Bahru. So he said that it was so crowded, so noisy, don't know what's happening, don't know what the speaker talked about. He's tell, he said, he's talking about me because I'm the speaker. <laughs> of course, I do not know much because uh, I'm not a scientist, 
right? But I saw that this is something going to be very big. So I started to share on a stage very, with a lot of excitement. But being a corporate guy, you know, he was looking at the, the whole, uh, you know, whole environment. So he's not sure whether this is a, a real thing or not. But lucky he believed, he continued. Within the business, today he's one of the top leaders, right? So I was looking at the, the video. <clears throat> I saw something very interesting. Even Lillian, I think Lillian, the point of time, right? Lillian is here tonight. Lillian was just a COE1, the point of time, right? And today she's already a COE3, $10 million. <laughs> Nicholas, the same thing. Nicholas is even classic for those of you who are with us for a period of time. Nicholas was just an EBD. That means he was just a blue diamond. Right, attending the event 2010, just like one cycle 12 years ago. Today, he became a $10 million member, meaning that over the years, he made more than $10 million US dollars. <laughs> so this is very interesting. I don't know about you, right? but over the last uh, 10 over years, I think we created, HDOC created a lot of great products that um, attracted a lot of customers, and that's how being a business builder, right, we make money from the product movement. Okay, so... Just want to show you some numbers. Tomorrow is Saturday. You'll buy 40? Uh, right? So, 249. Write it down, this number. 249. <clears throat> Second number I give you. 724. Some people say that they don't sell three digits, they sell four digits. I give you another number. 1800. Remember to buy tomorrow, huh? Okay, what is 249? Don't know, huh? 249 is the month that I joined New Skin, the number of million dollars that got members in New Skin. December, year 2000. 249. Right? So, 10 years later, when I did the h Lock Rally, December, 2010, the numbers jumped to 724. Right? It's almost like a 500 increment. For those of the people you realize that they believe in it, right? they stick to it, right? they probably become part of it. Right? So from 2010, h Lock officially kind of like started, this movement started from 724 right? until today, about 12 years. We grow more than one thousand million dollars in our members. So, if you think that joining early has got advantage, not necessary. You have to join at the right time, right? Join at the right time. Just like when I first started, it was just two four nine. And some of my friends in network marketing business told me that this is the old business, old opportunity. But didn't realize that HLOC was such a huge opportunity that create a lot of volumes. So, the same thing, right? I think we just have a, a LTO or product preview for this product, right? I think some of you, have you started using this product? I think most of you, right? So, we have a sold out, we have a sold out uh, for most of the market, just for information, right? In fact, uh, almost all the markets are sold out. In Southeast Asia, we did uh, more than 48 million and out of which 95% came from Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia market. Amazing. Right, for those of you who are involved in this LTO, give yourself a warm applause because it was just, just amazing. <clears throat> so with that kind of 48 million volumes created, so you know, lah, some commission goes to your pocket. So it's a, it's a good business, right? So in fact, we are talking about this product, it's not launched yet. It was officially launched only in September. Right, September. So I just want to ask you one question, right? Is there potential for this product? As you've seen, right, from the, the each lock product pipeline that we had, right? We have R Square become one of the best selling product. We have TN IT becoming best of selling product. U Spam become one of the best selling product. Lumi Spa is the top, the number one beauty gadget, beauty device. Right? So if this is going to become a huge demand for the next three to five years, right? And you happen to ride on this wave, can you make money? Yes. So it's the product that creates opportunities. It's not the plan itself. Right? So in fact, <clears throat> we all know that the problems, right? any product, right, it can take off, become successful because it solves problems. It's a solution. Right? We live in, a way, in, a, in an always-on, often chaotic world that has us working long hours, sleeping poorly, stressed out, and eating on the run. Right? So in fact, you realize that this is a modern people's lifestyle. 
So modern people requires modern, modern people's solution. We cannot uh, create product for ourselves. We need something that's convenient, can solve the problems, right? So in fact, only one out of eight of us is considered metabolically, metabolically healthy, right? 88% of us are not healthy. So in fact, right, that means out of here, let's say we have, uh, how many people? We have, uh, let's say, 800 people. So it's only 100 people that is healthy. So if we can make people understand, right, what is meta metabolic health, right, and we, through age lock, we said we can offer them a better solution, I think for the next three to five years, this is going to be a top selling product. But you need to have a vision, right, you need to cast a vision. You, when you have a vision, you believe in it, right, out of eight people, only one person is healthy, meaning that everyone they will see, probably that they need age lock reset. If every one of them started taking each lot reset right, for the next three to five years, this is probably going to be another TR90 or even like R Square, right, a new spend. So, huge opportunity, right, even for the reset product that we have right now. How about what is next? <clears throat> right, each lot is not ending yet, even though today, tonight I'm going to share a little bit more about Empower Me, but I want you to understand that, right, each lot platform is just the beginning. So, we you know, in fact, next year, we hope to introduce one product. Right, this product that many of you are very familiar. <clears throat> right? It's an upgrade of TR90. <clears throat> Remember that <clears throat> for those of you who stay in the business for long term, long, long time ago uh, when we started TRA, right? I think TRA, if I'm not wrong, right? TRA, TRA helps Lydian and Mr. Chua become million dollars, become millionaire, right? Then subsequently in 2013, we have a launch of TR90, which is the upgraded version of TRA, right? And again today, the rest is history, almost like 10 years from now, TR90 is one of the best selling product, right? So if we could introduce one product or one program that is even more convenient, right? And even more effective, Right? I do not know. Right? The, the scientists are working in the back right now to, to launch this product for next year. So if we are going to have this new product coming on the market next year, are you excited? Yeah. Only this group of people are excited. <clears throat> I tell you, those people who are excited must know how much money they can make. Right? Those people who are not excited, they don't know what's happening. Right? Just like an Apple phone, right? iPhone iPhone 8, iPhone 9, iPhone 10, right? If you are a regular iPhone user, if the company is launching a new series of product, new version of product, will you buy? Yes. So not only do the existing customer will want to try our new range of product, right? And probably some of the people never tried before, they will also, they will also be trying, they're willing to try. So if this is going to be able to, uh, to do an LTO for next year, I think many of you will be very excited, right? So, the most important thing is that starting from when? Now, you have to start building your consumer network right now. Right? You have to start building your business network right now. Some people are always wanting to ask, hey, when, ah, when, ah, when? Ah? I tell you when also no use one if you do not have network. Right? So, what I'm trying to tell you is that in New Skin, right, we are always no lack of opportunities. But the key thing is that when are you getting started? That's a key point. Right, so that's the next thing that it's, I think is going to be very big, very huge. Well, the, the third thing that actually got me excited about why choosing new skin, right, is the residual compounding cash flow. We hardly heard about this word called residual. So I'm going to spend some time to, to share a little bit about this term called residual. Right, residual means what? Meaning that, right, if you do, if you, if you do certain things for a period of time, you get the benefit for the rest of the time. Just like those uh, famous singer, Elvis Presley, Michael Jackson, right? So they could, you know, record the album for one time, but they get the benefits, royalties for the rest of their life. But unfortunately, you realize that for most of us, we are not so talented, right? We are not so talented. So residual is something that you realize that we may not understand totally uh, through the work, through the normal employment works that we know. But I just want to introduce you about this work because this created a very big impact Right, changing my mindset also. Meaning that you build for a period of time, you get to enjoy for the rest of your life. Is this interesting? 
How many of you like this kind of interesting idea? I think yes, lah, right? So, you know, I, I, when I get to know about new skin, I realize that I just need to spend some years of building my foundation, my network, right? I get to enjoy the residual income, the cash flow. I cannot think like Elvis Presley or Michael Jackson. But I could do new skin, right? Every one of us, you know, we can do new skin. Not that difficult. We can build the residual income. Residual, right, doesn't mean just about income. There's also residual work. There's some of the job that we do, right? Even like it creates a lot of residual works. For example, in my past platform, insurance. Right? And most of the policies that I sell, I get five years commission. Pay, right? Pay for five years. On the sixth year, right, I don't draw a single cent from the commission anymore. So on the six years, I cannot tell my clients that, sorry, ah, if you die, ah, if anything happened to you, ah, I cannot service you. Right? It's not right. Right? Can you imagine that if I do 100 customers a month, a year, so over five years, I have 500 customers, but after that, I don't get paid. But I'm accumulating more residual works and services. So residual works and services are actually costs, not income, because it costs your time. So you need to be very wary to understand about choosing a platform that can use you residual income but not residual works. I don't know how many of you understand. Uh. It's a big, not easy to understand, right? Never mind, ask the people behind, beside you whether you understand now. Uh. If you don't understand, never mind, right? <clears throat> ask the upline. Okay, but anyway, right, this is something that excited me. I just want to share with you why I chose, I look at New Skin in a very different perspective, right? I think residual is something that uh, is very powerful because especially that uh, we get, every one of us get older. Being getting older, you realize that we get less productive. Right? So we hope that while we are productive, during our productive years, right, we can do more and we can be able to enjoy in the later part of the years. Another thing is about compounding. Right? I think we heard about co law of compounding, compounding interest. This is nothing new. Right? So, but I just want to share with you about my understanding about compounding. Right? So that was my record. Right? So evidently, that new skin right, realized the compounding effect from the first million that I, I make for well, the first two years. And uh, for my 10 million to 20 million, right, it took another two, just two years of my time. So meaning what? Meaning you realize it's like a snowball effect. Right? For the same time, same finite time, but the, you used very much bigger returns. This is very interesting. Right? So it's, it happens. If I'm a human being. If I can do it, every one of you, there's a possibility that you can do it, right? Because you just want to see that someone has done it before. So I'm not surprised that in the future, right, there will be some, you know, some people that it can even right, exceed my, my, my results or my, my, my achievement in the new skin business. So I want to share a little bit about snowball effect, which, <clears throat> uh, what compounding means, right? Snowball effect. Compounding means snowball effect. So many of us are about snowball, but we don't understand how to create snowball effect. Do you want to know how to create snowball effect? If you want, you need to clap a bit louder. Right, according to Warren Buffett, the investment guru, he mentioned that in order for you to create snowball, snowball effect, there are two criteria, two conditions. The first one is, the runway, the slope must be long enough. The runway must be long enough. Because if you want to have snowball effect, if the runway is too short, uh, right, that means the, the slope is too short, right, one time, two times, then you cannot have created a big snow, snowball. Right, so that's the first condition. The slope must be long enough. The runway must be long enough so that you can create a big snowball effect. Okay, that's the first one. <clears throat> Second one, the, the snow must be thick enough. Not a face. Okay, the, the snow must be thick enough. Right, so that you realize that when they roll, they are able to be sticky, right? They can stick the snow so that you realize that the snow gets bigger and bigger. So how does it relate to the new skin business? So when you saw my results, right, over uh, at the compounding, the snowball effect, right, how does it happen? Do you understand already? Huh? Blur already. Right? For this to happen, mention that the runway must be high. 
meaning the, the, the run, runway must be long, meaning that this company must be a long-term opportunity. Because if this company, right, three years gone already, you cannot have snowball. Right? And this company, not only they have long-term opportunity, they must have, a, they must have a ability to create more opportunities in the long term, just like the R&D team. So I benefit from this platform, not because how good I am. It's just because they constantly create more opportunities in the long term, in the long runway. That's why I'm able to create a snowball. The second thing is that, right, the snow must be sticky. Solid. The snow must be, what do you call it, a thick, right? Thick means that you realize that the company must be solid. <clears throat> the company is not solid, right? You cannot leverage on it. <clears throat> right? So in fact, the company, new skin, right? The reason why I'm able to create a snowball because the company is solid. They have a very solid financial backing. Right? Even though you realize that during crisis, we are not very much affected in terms of our business. The company, despite, despite the fact that inflation, a lot of things disrupted, right? but the companies are still able to manage very well. So that's the reason why that we can create the kind of snowball effect, right? The last one, the last one, the snow must move. You know, if the snow don't move, uh, you cannot create the snow wall become bigger and bigger, right? So who is the snow? You are the snow, right? So it being you, that means you realize that if you are doing new skin, right, you have these two conditions ready, but being the snow, you never move. Then you cannot create a snowball effect. I don't know whether how many of you understand what I'm telling you. <laughs> right? You become snowman. <laughs> snowman, just sit out there, stand out there, right? Never move. So, <clears throat> either, I, either you become snowball <laughs> or you become snowman. <laughs> Right? I'm, I'm sharing you about this example right? so that you understand why certain compounding effect happens. There's a reason behind it. Right? Things don't just happen like that because there's a, there's a reason behind it. So being by partnering with New Skin, in fact, every one of us will be able to have compounding effect in your business. Right? Well, bidding assets. Remember I mentioned about bidding assets, this plan? So many times you realize that when you draw the plan, how much money you can make. Right? In fact, you need to identify what kind of money you are making. Some people say that, why bother? Sing dollar long? US dollar long? Right? There's a difference of what kind of money you are making. Right? In fact, by building new skin business, building a network over a period of time, you are building assets. Like every brand rep, every EBP, every EBD that you help to groom, to build up, is just like an estate. It's even more real estate than a real estate. Because the, the human being is a real estate. Lah. Real one, right? Human being is real estate, right? So this estate itself, you realize that they can move. It's a movable property. So some of the brand rep become so big, like bungalow, like Lillian Ong. Right? Huge bungalow. Then you're able to correct more rental bonus, rental income. Right? So when you understand right, how you're able to make money from the new skin business, it's because through the product sales, and through by creating more brand rep, your, 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 your business partners, right, you get royalty bonus. We call it leadership bonus over here. So the more brand rep we are creating, right, we are, we're just a like property developer, I was saying. So, you know, we look into news, I look into news in a very different perspective. Some people are just thinking, I thought that you are doing, news, they are doing network marketing. Network marketing is just a name, right? It's just a, a name of a marketing system. But the true fact is that you need to understand that where the money comes from. You derive income because you build assets. And every of the brand rep, they are so mobile that any other point of time, you don't know what, where they travel to. They may go to China, they may go to India, they may go to Indonesia. You can't control them, right? And it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So this is something that I want you to understand, right? It's not just about a marketing plan, how much money you make. It's where the money coming from. So why this is interesting? Because <clears throat> assets give you rental income. Right? Assets give you rental income, like a property. So you own many, many multiple property. If you buy physical property, some countries it's got limitation. Like in Singapore, right? If you're a foreigner, you buy property, you got how much tax? 30% tax. Upfront. 
But this one, you can own international property. You can earn, you can, you can, you can have a, acquire Indonesian property, Malaysian property. There's no regulation, right? You can build all you need to, to spend time building it. So once you master how to build it, once, the chances are easier for you to duplicate another one because it's almost similar, right? Well, another thing that I just want to share with you also, right? Whatever choice, career choice you are making right now, right? Are you pursuing one life, one time income or lifetime income? Are you doing something right, to create a lifetime income or just one-time income? That means active income. Right? You need to start thinking about it as we grow even older. Okay? Well, are you fighting? What are you fighting for? Are you creating a successful career or are you building a legacy for generation? Remember I mentioned the word about outlive early on? Right? Be very careful what opportunity platform that you are choosing. Some opportunity platform, very rare you can find, right? They can outlive. They can outlive you. That means that should anything happen to you, right? The opportunity continue to pay you. This is what I call legacy. Right? Very interesting, right? Most of the time we didn't realize that there's this thing. But actually, yes, it exists in New Skin. I want to call you two examples over here, right? Uh, Betty Song. Barry Song is one of our Chinese uh, leader from US, United States. One of the, the first Chinese to start in uh, America, right? She passed on a couple of years ago. She passed the business, new skin business, to the son today, right? Uh, uh, we call it Zhou Ping, right? Ping, they call it Ping. There's a son beside, beside him. So very interesting, right? This business, even line said, right? You can outlive and pass it on to the son to continue getting income from there. Right, getting continue just like collecting rental income. Another one is Christine, right? Christine is um, some of you may not know. She's a, she's a medical doctor. She's trained as become a doctor, right? We thought that medical doctor is quite quite smart, right? So in fact, she was even more thankful for the mom. The mom is Dora Hong from Hong Kong Market. She's one of the. If you don't know Dora Hong, you know Vera Waters, right? So those of you who know Vera Waters, right? Very successful. Uh, uh, leaders in Hong Kong. So Dora Hong is Vera Waters' upline. So she's also one of the uh, a pioneer leaders in Hong Kong. She passed on, right? When she passed on, she passed the, the business to Christine. And Christine continued to get income from the new skin business. How wonderful is it? So I think this is probably the best gift that you can give to your loved ones. So if you just think like a is this an opportunity, income making opportunity? I think probably the new skin opportunity is underrated. Right? But the more you understand about how this business is built, this is why you can see that there are so many talented people, high quality people, good quality people joining, the, joining this platform. Okay, well, today, right, I'm going to talk about, I left with 30 minutes. In fact, um, I just touched on what I'm supposed to share tonight. It's the most important part, right? The opportunity ahead, which I think most of you why you are here. Right? Our, this is our, our founder, Brett Ronnie. <clears throat> right? He mentioned that our founding was based on innovation. We are always wanted to be 10 steps ahead of everyone else. So in 1984, when we first started way back in the United States, we called ourselves New Skin International. They were from Utah Provo, right? So they actually positioned themselves. They have a vision to build a global business. So they started, invested, accumulated almost like 100 million US dollars to build a satellite computer system. In those years, in 1984, in the 80s, no network marketing companies able to build a global borderless market. But there was such a vision, right? Even though they, they are not very rich, but they can see themselves that the business is going to travel across continents, right? And build in many countries. So in fact, New Skin is the first company to start the global borderless. Some of you probably that heard about this company called Company A, right? They are long in history, but they were not global borderless. They are a global company. They are MNC, right? But they are not really linked in terms of the business. But New Skin is the first one. And we invested heavily, right, in the point of time. But today, there are more companies that are actually global borderless. But I just want to share with you that our DNA is innovation. We continue to innovate, <clears throat> right? 
Then about in 2003, we invested 100 million in the China market. Right, and we, in fact, one of the first batch of uh, a company to get direct selling license. Right, so that's the reason why I spent some time in China too, right, about 20 years ago. And of course, we invested in uh, LiveGen. That's why we created the HLOC platform. Right, we even invested in uh, this uh, biophotonic scanner. Right, we got a license for bio biophotonic scanner. So can you imagine that all these things that we did done, it helped us to create and expand so much opportunity. Right, so in fact, just want to introduce to you, right, tonight, Empower Me. Right, the idea was actually created in this year. Right, very interesting idea. Uh, some of you may not understand totally after tonight, but it doesn't matter. Just like, I just want to share with you, history repeats itself. Just like in 2010, you are being invited to the HLOC rally. Right, some came, don't know what's happening, they left. Some came, right, don't know what's happening, continue to do. They stick to it. Right, so in fact, this opportunity itself, we had invested 107 million. And in the pipeline, we will be investing more than 500 million, according to our CEO. Ryan mentioned to us that with all the connected devices, the IoT, right, we're going to invest more than 500 million in this platform, in this vision. So with the current products range that we have, right, we're going to upgrade all the products, right, our Galvanic Spa, even for our scanner, HLOC Boost, Lumi Spa, right, and uh, this uh, 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 body spa, right, to upgrade into our Empower Me platform. So what are we trying to do? Right, what are we trying to do? So let's identify some of the key trends or things that's happening, right, um, in, the, in the consumption world. So the first one, we talk about subscriptions. Uh, many of us may not be very familiar, but I think some of you probably have subscribed to Netflix, right? So consumers, a lot of times, you realize they will subs will begin or started to subscribe to a lot of services. Uh, for those of you who use Gmail, like for me, I use Gmail, right? Then I not enough space, I subscribe to the Google Space, right? And if you're using YouTube, <clears throat> right? I use uh, watch a lot of YouTube, right? But I would just uh, I don't like a lot of advertisement, so I subscribe as a user. Right, so I become a subscriber for YouTube. So I think the subscription concept has become a very uh, a norm for consumers. In fact, it's increasing in terms of the, the percentage. So the first one is subscriptions. Actually, if you do understand, it's very similar to our ARO. Right, very similar to our ARO concept. Gig economy. <clears throat> so in recent years, people talk about gig economy. To be honest, right, 1984, when we first started, we already did. We we already uh, we do a lot of gig, right? Gig basically means that part time. Today you realize that this gig economy becomes so big. Why? Because you probably will not have enough money through your full time job. You need supplementary income. You saw a lot of people going to gig. So gig economy has grown so much. But if you look at the new skin, right? New, new skin opportunity since 1984, many people already started part time, right? So we started on part-time, many of you started part-time, right? Every one of us can start part-time. So part-time gig. So in fact, in 1984, we are already a, a gig company, right? So social commerce. Sometimes when we talk about social commerce, we get confused. We think that, you know, it's got nothing to do with us, right? In fact, even like said, with the use of social media, and these things has become very common, right? Uh, transacting uh, transacting in, a, in, in, a, in, in this uh, social media, or even through, uh, through our website, right, it's become very common. But social commerce, right, in fact, since 1984, New Skin already started social commerce. But it's another form of social commerce. How, you know, it's like in, 19, in 1990, I still remember that those pioneering leaders from China, uh, from, from, uh, from US, the Chinese, those point of time, we do not have mobile phone, right, early in the 80s. So what they did is that it's a home fixed line. So they make phone calls from US, right? Long distance call, right? To call to Hong Kong, to Taiwan, to their friends and prospects and customers, right? But in fact, you realize that this is a lot of them is that, I call it that, it's, it's also a social commerce really. It's just that their tools are not so advanced. They're using fixed line. But today, because of social media becoming so 
popular and easy to reach out, right? And this business grow bigger and bigger, right? In fact, personalization is also another trend as customers are getting more affluent. They want something tailor-made for them. Okay, the last one, IoT. If you don't understand what is IoT, right, if you really want to have an uh, elaboration, you can Google IoT. Uh, they all is more accurate, huh? but basically it's connected devices. One good example would be Apple. So if you're using uh, Apple computer, iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, right? All these are all linked together. So this concept has been around for almost 10 years, but not all the companies are able to do it. Right? Most companies are only selling products, but they have no ability to connect all these devices together. So what we are trying to do with Empower Me is to be able to do all these things together. Does it sound interesting? Very powerful. <clears throat> right? Uh, we are able to do it because we have many proven products just like Apple. Right? We are not a newly set up company. We have a lot of proven products. Right? We just need to have a platform to connect all this together. So, and being a health and beauty company, right, uh, we want to see how big the potential for this um, vision. Right? In fact, for uh, premium skincare and uh, beauty device, right? and this uh, internet, of, uh, internet of Things devices, right? by 2025, it go, it's going to be 1.6 trillion from the current of 212 billion. It's almost like uh, eight times bigger. And today, right, none of the health and beauty company is doing IoT right now. New Skin is the first company. And many companies, right, health company that we know, personal care company that we know, or skincare company that we know, and most of the time, they don't have the ability to do two categories. With our HLOC, with our Pharmanex and skincare, New Skin, right, we have the ability to cross two categories. And we are going to be the first industry, right, to connect all this together. I don't know about you, personally, I find that it's going to be a huge opportunity, right? By 2025, 476 billion to 6.3 trillion, right? By, by 2025, it's just the next couple of years from now. Why? Because the consumer behavior has changed, right? So we started to build this infrastructure to enable our customers, right, to enhance our customers' experience. Okay, so this is a new vision that we cast for ourselves in New Skin to become the world's leading integrated beauty and wellness company powered by our dynamic affiliate opportunity platform. So this is a refreshed version of our vision, right? Um, so I think this is going to be very exciting, right? For those of you who are able to see this vision and, and understand a little bit about Empower Me vision later, you're going to be very excited. Okay, so what is Empower Me? It's our multi-year multi strategy that connects affiliates with customers through product discovery, interactive digital tools, and social sharing communities to provide personalized solutions and seamless connections. So all the products, right, especially our beauty devices, are all connected. Are all connected, right? In fact, sorry. This one need to eat BioGinkgo. So Empower Me is not a technology, right? Empower Me is a vision and a strategy that we have. So what we are going to try to do is that um, with our products and connected devices, right, and our digital uh, assets we're going to build, ecosystem we're going to build, right, to, give, to create a social commerce. So this is the, the strategy that we had right, for the next couple of years. <clears throat> so through what, right, through these few apps, the first one is uh, Stella, right? Stella is for, for leaders, for the builders. Vera is for the customers. New Skin Connect is for CRM. If you are building your own business, you probably need to invest a lot of money on CRM. But by partnering with New Skin, you don't have to pay a single cent. Right? It's all connected for you. And HDOC tier 90. So, in fact, uh, Stella and uh, Vera, I think we're going to have a workshop. For those of you who want to know details about this thing, right? We're going to have a training workshop at the beginning of June. Right? For this... Uh, 
So this is something that's really very new. Okay, so these are the, the new skin IoT or roadmap that we have. Just like I mentioned to you, right? It'll be a major upgrade of all the products our starting from our beauty device plus our scanner. Right? Can you imagine today, right? I know many of you use scanner as your tool for your customers. Right? Currently you realize that we record down how much is the score, ten thousand, twenty thousand, thirty thousand. Sometimes we forgot, right? Sometimes we don't keep track. So today all these things can be kept into the devices. Right? Kept into the this uh, the, the whole system, the empowerment system. Right? Virtually you realize that you know your customers inside out. So very interesting. So the, this is the first product we're gonna launch. Right, this coming Q3 and Q4. I got a sample today. Right. <clears throat> for the, those people who went to the team literally, I think from Malaysia, they have the expo. Some of them tried already. So this is the first one that we're gonna launch. <clears throat> so we're probably gonna try this, right? In this Q3 and Q4 and see how this device is gonna connect it to the apps. And you probably know that which part of the skin, right, is not clean properly. <laughs> Interesting, right? <clears throat> it's going to be very interesting. I think none in the industry is doing such a thing. It's so fantastic, right? Hearing about this thing is like, wow, amazing, right? If you're going to do this thing for your own business or company, how much money are you going to invest? But these are all provided, right, by New Skin to build our business. Okay, so with the apps and the Lumispa, right, we call it Lumispa IO because it's connected, right? So I'm gonna launch. So um, we, I, I, I think that we have, we do have a lot of uh, uh, units. Uh, this coming uh, Q3 and Q4. If you can grab one, would be good lah, to try on. Anyway, right. Just want to touch on on the business study, right? Case study for what is the potential of this uh, platform, right? One good example would be Apple. We are quite familiar with Apple because many of them are Apple users, right? Even though you may not be Apple users, but Apple has already proven to be a very successful company. So in the early 20s, right, Apple market cap was just $5 billion. It's a small company. It's not big. But by 2020, right, they grow to $2,000 billion, meaning that they grow how many times? 400 times, right? They grow especially well towards the later part of the, later part of the decade whereby they link all the connected devices together and the customer become very sticky, right? So that's how they, they grow the business. So interesting about Apple business model. So what they did, so from products in the old model, right, through the channels to the customers, this old business model. So what Apple did, right, is that Apple rapidly investing in establishing a much broader ecosystem of services that built on the back of their product user base. So again, for any company to really adopt this well, this strategy well, provided that the company has already have a range of product with satisfied customers, right? Just like what Apple have done, right? They already have a, a good iPhone users and iPad user or computer user. So they link all this together, right? Building the, the, the digital ecosystem and enhance the, the customer experience. And all the product is just a channel. For example, when you start buying iPhone, right? iPhone is just a channel for you to acquire the customers. After which, right, they are able to cross sell you to other product. It's all linked. So very rare any company has got this ability. And most companies, they just sell you one handphone. <laughs> it's just a handphone company, right? So what are we trying to do with new skin? Okay. I think we are, it's easier for us to do it because uh, we do not have the kind of uh, channels or middlemen, right? <coughs> we basically, like, through our own personal experience, uh, <coughs> you see, through all the, our customer experience, right, through the ecosystem, right, we can identify your needs. That means that we can, <coughs> we can for example, I'll give you an example, right? When you use the biophotonic scanner, the score is 10,000. Straight away, right, the apps will prompt you that the product recommendation is robot-assisted. 
AI assisted. <coughs> Rather than even like I said, you know, you try to recommend distributor, try to recommend the customer what to buy, right? And even sometimes you like when your customers use whatever product of new skin, right? When they go into the system, they are probably just like when you go shopping, you go shopping online shopping, right? They will probably prompt you for related products and services, or what this product you can use together with. <clears throat> So with this platform, right, very high chances that you have a lot of accidental volumes. You know what is accidental volumes? Means that the product is not recommended by you, right? Let the machine do the walking. Let the robot do the walking. Is it interesting, right? I think at least for most of us, you realize that right, you help us to get the business even easier. And sometimes today, you realize that customers do not want to be sold. They do not want to be sold, right? They want to buy themselves. So by reading, by inside all the apps, you realize that you know there will be a lot of information. You want to have a video, some short video, to recommend the products, right? So as long as they are into the system, basically you realize that they, you know you need to get them into the system, lah. So once they are in the system, you realize that it's going to be very sticky. So if you don't understand what I'm saying for tonight, doesn't matter. I help you to summarize it, right? So this is my understanding. Uh, what is our opportunity over here? The first one is that through Empower Me, right, we help to enhance customer experience. By enhancing customer experience means that the customer become more sticky so that your renewal business becoming better. At the same time, there were possibility that you realize that you can cross-sell the products easily without you recommending them, rec rec recommend them right? Because the, the robot will actually assist them for whatever needs that they want. They want. The second one is that, right, enable builders with advanced technology. So with the CRM that we have, you can track your customers, right, their um, customer record, right, you can track whatever they, you know, they, in the past, uh, what, they, what are they using, the scanner score, all this you are able to track, right, with free advanced technology, that means you don't have to pay a single cent. The last one, and rich financial rewards for builders and leaders. So what is different between Apple and New Skin? What's the difference between Apple and New Skin? If you are doing almost a similar thing. Apple, don't pay us. Right? We can only become an Apple user and let Apple mix our money. Right? But New Skin, <coughs> New Skin IoT, right? By involving the affiliates program and the leadership program, we get to participate in the rewards, the financial rewards. Because we don't have minor band, right? So any one of you introduce, you realize that it falls into your network. How many of you understand what I'm saying? Only a couple of you. So the rest don't understand how? Just follow, right? So you don't have to understand everything, right, to do the business. Just like for me, uh, 10 years ago, 2010, we do not know that actually we're going to launch Reset. Actually, we were, at that point of time, we were happily selling TRA. Right? We didn't even know that three years later, the Evalanche said we have TNIT coming. You will never know. So we choose to believe. Right? One thing that you ask yourself, if the company investing 500 million into this whole digital ecosystem, do you think it's going to be a small thing? I do not know, right? For me, if my business partner investing so much money, right, they must be seeing some big opportunity that I don't see it yet. So all I need to do is just write on them. They're simple because they are giant, right? So, so what you need to do, right? So much so about what I've shared with you about Empower Me, right? What do you need to do? I think the key thing is still about building network. So you don't wait for all these things to be ready because it will take a few years. Just like today, when we see that a lot of millionaires are being created through the HLOC platform, right, that was like 10 years, a decade. So we want to be able to have a vision to see that what lies ahead for the next 5 and 10 years. If we can see right now, right, and start to act right now, 5 and 10 years start road, you become the winner. Right? So what you need to do, the first one is that build your customer network. Starting from now. Right? Whether it's to 390, Duo or whichever product, get them into your network. 
The second group of people, you realize that some people, they see the vision, the excitement of this thing. They want to build a business, right? They start qualifying for brand rep to become our business builders and leaders, right? So start building your network right now. <coughs> so the, rich peop- the richest people in the world look for and build networks. Everyone else look for work. So if you are here tonight, we didn't offer a job opportunities, <laughs> right? In fact, right, we let you understand that you could potentially build a huge network through the Empower Me platform in years to come, right, for the next one decade. The future is definitely bright, given for the next 10 years. Don't say I bought you. Right? So some of you say, how come 10 years ago you got this age shot ready, you bought you? Too bad, probably someone invite you, but you never come. Right? But today, I think after tonight, you cannot say that you do not know. You cannot say that 10 years later, right? Then you never take any action, then you regret. I think what we are doing right now, it could potentially grow by at least 10 times. Because it's very disrupting. Right? So the bright future ahead, right? New Skin, our best long term partner. The last questions you ask yourself before you leave, I think, right? No matter how good is New Skin, no matter how great the vision of Empower Me, right? You can ask yourself one very simple question. If you continue to do what you are doing right now, right? Your job or whichever you're doing right now, right? For the next three and five years or 10 years later, where will you be? Ask yourself, right? In those years when I decided to embark on this journey, it's the same thing. I cannot see in myself, right? When I'm 50 years old, 60 years old, I still sell insurance policy. I cannot see myself doing that. So I need to start making changes right now, whether it's part-time or full-time, right? Because whatever platform you're in right now, you know very well, if you continue to do it, where will you be? It's very clear. It's just that whether you want to accept the cruel effects on it, right? Well, life is a matter of choices and every choice you make makes you. So I think the reason why that I share my story with you in the earlier part, right? I feel it's not just about this, how good this opportunity platform, New Skin. I think why I become successful because I have a clarity of the vision, right? There were people actually joined together with me, but they don't, they don't have a vision. They gave up too early. But a lot of people giving up, right? I continue to drive the business despite the fact that I have a lot of objection, a lot of obstacles because my goal is just looking at what I'm going to get in the future, not the current obstacles that I have. Right? So the same thing, right? I would say that uh, this opportunity is presented to you tonight. Right? You need to be able to cast a vision for your future. Where will you be? For the next three years, five years, ten years down the road, if you write on this platform and participating right aggressively. Last but not least, right in ST, in success together, right, our success can be duplicated. You can see there are all kinds of people becoming successful in New Skin in our platform. All kinds. We have dancer, right, Don from all the way from KL, right. We have people who are educated. We have people that are not educated, right. It doesn't really matter, right. And through our model of duplication, it can be duplicated to help you to build your network. So I really hope, right, to wish every one of you success together. Together we succeed. Hope to be able to see every one of you, right? Uh, I think especially that for next month we have our LTS. I really want to invite you to attend our this uh, two days event, which I think that you will see a lot more insights about our business. So with that, I want to close my sharing for today. Thank you for your time. See you.